Why I stand here on the grounds? Rain, it freshens me. The sounds of those glacier-fed water running down, feeding this river, making me feel that I'm alive. Yet, what makes me closer to death is my breath that is going away. And I'm only hoping that it comes back to me with much more fresher breath of life than how I left it when I exhalate. Why do I have to find this in a place like this? Why do I have to see a poster like this? That to my understanding is that these glacier fed mountains are going to be scarred by pylons to supply your need and the greed. People may say, that I'm sick and silly to be standing here just an hour before midnight on a summer period of the Northern Hemisphere talking about how to save the planet. No, I'm not talking about how to save the planet. The planet knows how to live. It is us, the human creature, who's been lost in this sense of sensibility, lost in the sense of reality, lost in the sense of mor mortality and the sense of true life giving materials that we have abused and exploited and turn into profit making arrangements for very few. Instead of serving the commerce, why don't we wake ourselves for make the commerce save and serve us? Because at the moment, the entire humanity is serving commerce. Isn't it real to wake up and see what is happening? And isn't it real that we change, we make the change within us individually so that the commerce will then eventually serve humanity. And eventually the need of commerce, the need of exploiting our earth, need of destroying our pristine landscapes and pristine mother nature for very few selected individuals and for their desires to be fulfilled and only to be found <sighs> that exhalation breath never came back for an in inhalation breath and you are gone from this existence and its entire surface and what do you do with your money and your titles and your education and your status and your large bank accounts or small bank accounts or all what you have done to this earth. You are going to leave all that behind so that the individuals who are closest to you may cry off, be sad, and be looking for sympathy 
for a few days, a few weeks, maybe months. And then they'll start fighting for exactly your greed that you left behind. For more money, for larger accounts. By further exploiting this earth, further excavating and extracting and exhuming what is left of, which is very little. We have hacked our mother, we call it Mother Earth, we have hacked it almost half. We are not far before we get rid of the other portion of her. Then we realize all that money will not save you or me or any of the other creatures who are not involved in your exploitative one-track mind who you put yourself in a limited form by identifying to one thing and not the other. Please, 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 I will continue to walk this earth only to bring about the level of destruction we are causing to this pristine land. Everywhere on earth is pristine and it's beautiful only for us to have trashed it, destroyed it. Be gentle, folks, be gentle. If you live your life as part of everything here, you will never do anything that hurts you or harm you. You will be very gentle, very sensitive, and very conscious about all your being, all your being as a human being, because you are the only one who can be. You know where I'm going? I'm looking to see what is going on. This is on the A1 route, ring road that's going around Iceland. How did it end up here? How the hell this carton of yogurt drink ended up here? How? How can it come? Straight off the window of a car, for sure. It has been there for a few days maybe. I'm going to take it with me. My two hands have picked up enough litter out of this country. I simply don't have the tools or plastic gloves to pick up all the tissues that I'm seeing. Thousands of them on the streets. Over there I can see similarly more cartons. Not only we drink the packaged goods, don't know what's in it. We chuck it, we can't even keep it in the car for two minutes to get to the next town or to the bin to recycle it. The facilities are available. What is it that human beings are not capable of? They're not capable of being respectful for this mother nature. I'm sorry, the mother nature of Iceland. There is no Iceland for me. This existence is the existence that I will see as one. Everywhere I step a foot, I will treat as my own life for me to become or to be harmful to wherever I am and whoever I am with is never going to be the case. So for that reason alone, 
I'm going to leave this amazing natural silence, this nature's sounds and music to shape its life the way it should. And no human being to ever touch and alter the, the scene and the sight and the way the mother nature has crafted and created this art of life. Thank you. My hat off to the mother nature of this land. And uh, I will do my best to at least leave my words behind at this spot between Akureyri, more towards Akureyri than Kaflavik. <laughs>